I think we had over 130 meetings over two days, which is 16 hours. And in every meeting I had, I think there were folks that were either well underway with testing and implementing the ASCO B asset or originator um, assistant, even the scenario optimizer. So again, taking advantage of all of those generative AI tools that we're offering to clients. But there were a handful of those folks too, who really felt like they hadn't had a chance to get into that yet, right? They're still trying to settle things in their current environment with where the market's been and, and you know, 7% rates on average. So it was interesting to see kind of the difference in the size of the client, um, the amount of originators they had and how far they've come as far as implementing some of this information. I think it's really cool to go through. I know kind of following the heels of the last podcast with AI won't stick too heavy in that area, but it's such a cool space and seeing how some customers are using it already with just releasing it and how they're adopting it to not just gather the information, but put it into a digestible format. So, hey, you ask this question about lock volume and give it to me in a bar graph or in a pie chart and then just screenshotting that dropping into a PowerPoint and seeing how clients are doing that in comparison to others who are, again, still looking to automate locks or post-lock changes and just seeing the difference in the types of clients. So really exciting to see that the adoption for all of the most recent releases that we've had around Rolls Optimizer as well are coming in so hot and heavy post-release. And I'm very excited to see how that plays out over the course of the next several weeks.